Yeah, so we're raising all the faults on the Outlander. All wheel control had was saying basically all the wheel speed sensors were in the reading, so I'm just hoping that that's been switched off that system. Uh, that can happen, so you know, if it sees it. What it said was ABS uh, left rear, I think it said. I need to go back in life again, but so what we'll do now is we'll go out into ABS, into that system. Let's flash off. Um, oh, there she on, actually. <laughs> Start again. I don't trust them. Right, there we go. I like that. Front left, front right, rear left, right rear. Show selected. Right. So we're going to take it a wee dive and see what's happening. What's going on? We'll try this bad boy. Hey, land up and see what's going on. Right, so it's got the lights on right away actually, so it's So it's maybe just a bad sensor, so we'll hit the record. And in reverse. Alright, maybe the right left then. I think we'll start there certainly, right? see it's dropped off, so I don't, I'll pause here. Certainly looks like there's something happening with that, that one. It's not consistent now, so I will record and... Watch she's back, I'll put it back. <sighs> oh, resume, oh, sorry, review. Yep, review this one, it's three minutes long, so we'll go back. Oh, there you go, right, so something happened with the, that wheel speed there. Oh, you see that one? That's certainly the most inconsistent one. So there you go. So 12, 13, 13, 1. So I think we go with a rear left ABS sensor. Um, I will have a wee peek in at the, the thing and see, so it's not going to clear that. Alright, keep phone steady while using auto framing. I don't know what I've done, right? But anyway, so we're on auto framing, whatever that means, right? So we've got a Mitsubishi Outlander, we've already done the diagnostic on it, we take a little run. Recorded some data on it and we could see what was going on. So, anyway, uh, uh, it's an ABS fault. So, you see here we have our drive shaft, four wheel drive car, big prop, electro hydraulic diff, right? Uh, and you've got your transfer box up there, it's just a little transfer, but it is a four wheel drive. So, anyway, we have our wheel speeds now, it's quite difficult to see in here, I'll we'll try and zoom, right? Zoom, we can see the ABS sensor is up there, that's the sensor there. Um, and this is a wheel bearing here, which looks like it's bolted on with four. See, Mitsubishi's are so good, I've never had to replace a wheel bearing yet on them. Uh, I did have one guy with an L200, and he was adamant it was the wheel bearings, and I says to the guy, um, I says to the guy, no, it, it can't be the wheel bearings. I says, I've never done the wheel bearings, it's those tyres that's on it. Uh, I don't Right, so a few phone calls there, so we're talking about the ABS sensor, you can see the sensor there, that's magnetic, that's reading off a tone wheel, right, so I'll try and zoom in again, try and zoom, can't zoom in about in this mode, what's going on here? The auto framing is off, whatever that is, so now we should be able to zoom, so if you look in here, turn it nice and slow, so as you can see, and you can just see through that, I can see it anyway, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, try and turn the camera. Let's see if we go in that way, what happens? Yeah, I don't think we can. Right, you can just see the little gap there. So that's obviously your circlet. Right. You can see all the rust, but... So, I can see with the naked eye what is going on. 
right there. There's a shiny bit, I'll see if I can move the torch out just a bit closer. As you can see what's happening, I thought this would be the case anyway. So, try my best. So, right, we'll try that. So, in here, you can see the EBS, the, the drive shaft going round. All that rusty. I don't think we're going to be able to see it with the camera. I can see it with my naked eye. Uh, I can just see it right there. You can see that shiny bit. So I can see it with the naked eye basically, way back here. You can see the shiny bit actually. Right. Uh, you can just just about see it, so it's very difficult to catch it with the camera. To be honest with you, so you can see. Yeah, it's very very difficult. Very difficult to see it, but I can see the towing wheel in there, and basically the towing wheel has got a big chunk out of it. And that's what that shiny bit is. It's not animated, it's really difficult, so I'll try and go flash on as well, and I'll try and go this way. bits of rust. Let's see. Let's go right here. Right, so. Turn my torch off. Right, so that shiny part there, have you just seen it there? If it'll focus. Is the bit that's the fault. The rest of it has still got the magnetic strip on it. And you can see all the bits are rust. And then there's this shiny bit. There. Yep, right there. So, this shiny bit. You know. In here. So that shiny bit you can see there is the ABS ring. And if we look on the back of the box of Astra, you'll see what I mean. So this is your magnetic strip and I think what's happened on the Outlander is a big chunk of it's missing. So I need to get a new bearing I think. Right party people, welcome back. We have a Mitsubishi Outlander. Where we really get these, to be honest with you, it's only the second one I've had in the garage. Um, the other one's 2004, still going. 2.4 litre, uh, Mavic, uh, still going strong. So anyway, this one, it's got an intermittent ABS fault. Uh, well, really, just one from the bottom. No idea what happened there. So anyway, you can see we've got our special uh, hub puller here. So it's going very well, to be honest with you. I've taken the boat out of here. I have taken the bottle out of there and I just put it back in the other way because I thought, right, I'm going to see if we can chop this off first. Uh, but I've taken these bolts out so that I knew that I could, so I could get the hub off if I need to put it into the press. So this special tool here, which is six pick of in, it's just all grease. Um, so basically it's called a pocket press. Uh, it's very expensive to be honest with you, it's quite expensive, but you can get cheaper ones. Uh, this is a Sykes pick of ant, which is really good. Um, so we need Spaniard. Let's see what boy it is. 18 maybe. So it's an 18. So what we're going to try and do is push the drive shaft out. So the drive shaft... Oh no! The drive shaft's moving. Um, but it's just beginning to be a bit tight. So we use this so we don't damage anything. Um, so it should push that out of there. So we'll set the camera up. Let's see if we can get that pushed out. What happens? Come a bit closer. Over my can of lube. Can we 
can see. It's a bit dull over here, to be honest with you. Uh, it's dark, so it's dark fog, it is very weak. So, a good old <sighs> chat fog on our tip, and uh, basically uh, the drive shaft, eh, sorry, the, the wheel bearing come off. Now, it's kind of like the Renault setup, to be honest with you, strange for bits and pieces. Um, oh, the railway, the railway. So basically, but the ABS sensor is like clipped into the back of the wheel bearing. So I just use a little pack just to, you know, get it out and get it separated uh, from the uh, wheel bearing and the ABS sensor. So it could be that that's lost tension. It doesn't really take much to get it moving. <laughs> to be honest, it's coming off here. Do the big spaniard. Wait. 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 So I was right enough, so that's the ABS ring. So I've not been anywhere near that, um, to be honest with you. And I thought when I was spinning the wheel the inside, which we tried to video, but I thought I could see that shiny surface. So we'll hope that we can change that. We'll obviously clean all of this up. So obviously, I'll show you, take these cuts off. There you go. all that grease on that tool. Uh, I think what it says is, so it just shows you how much it was to move that. I think it's a 12 ton uh, pocket press. Something like that, uh, 12 ton. <laughs> so 12 ton, So and it took all of it to get that out of there. So we'll need to give us all a good old clean up. We'll clean up the backing plate, which goes on there. Um, and then, so this is the actual little bit actually for the wheel burn. Uh, so I'll need to fish that out as well. So that'll be looking light. So, an ABS sensor. I'll get the new bearing in a second and I'll show you how that clips in. The ABS sensor's just sat in here. So I don't see any damage on that. Oh, I'm blocking the camera completely. So, but the sensor's in now. I don't see any no fouling marks on it or anything like that. And we were able to get the code to clear. So, and the sensor is very, very the bearing's very expensive, right? Uh, but, this, the bearing's very expensive, but that's, that's not Mitsubishi's fault, that's that's just rust, to be honest with you guys, eh? That's corrosion. Um, that's not Mitsubishi's fault, we can't kind of blame Mitsubishi for corrosion in the, in the Scotland, guys. If this car was in Spain, this wouldn't be compartment. <laughs> it just wouldn't be, to be honest with you guys, eh? So that's what holds the ABS sensor in to the back of the... So that's part of the wheel burn. It should be, and I'll show you on the new one in a wee second when we take it out of the box. But so you can see all the rust on it, right? So it's not to say as well that this gap wasn't pushed further away because of the rust. So that can happen as well. That's I believe what's happened to that Peugeot, and it looks like that's it's just like plastic now. So that is a magnetic ring. Uh, it was a uh, magnetic pickup, uh, basically. So the ABS sensor's magnetic. So. I've actually got two SKF wheel burns, one was 
So a different vehicle, we've shot two SKF wheel bearings. This one here is quite a big beefy boy. Um, I don't think it comes with any new bolts, I'm not sure. But it looks good, wee quality. You can see what I mean. There's a difference, there's no rust on that yet, so uh, we all got all that cleaned up. So actually, I didn't need to really take those two bolts out, but uh, you may have to take these off, guys, depending on where you're in the world. Uh, guys and gals, you know, depending on where you're in the world, um, you got a lot of rust, you know what I mean? This one's not too bad for Scotland, to be honest with you guys, eh? But uh, you can see it, it's on a 2018 car and uh, it's up onto rust, so uh, we've got the drive shaft cleaned up, get the backing plate cleaned up, uh, get that cleaned up. Uh, and hopefully this one's good to go. Um, so yeah, yeah see, so we're not putting any strain on that. So okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Haven't already had a big thumb. Hit subscribe. Have yourselves a great old day. Hey, so cleaned all that up with a uh, Scotch bright on uh, the box there. Yeah, it's nearly done now. The Scotch bright and um, cleaned all the hub up there. So you see, it's nice and shiny. We've been going over the, the, the splines on the drive shaft as well. We've checked the nuts nice and good as well. So we'll get all our bolts cleaned up. A bit of Loctite as well, because there was Loctite on the, the bolts. So I'll put you a bit of Loctite on the bolts for the threads uh, for the wheel burn. Um, there was none on the big nut, but just on the actual wheel burn themselves. So I cleaned that up. We'll get the front of it a wee clean as well, because um, that's where the bearing's going to be sitting on there. So you want to have a nice and clean. Yeah, you don't want any you know, crap disturbing the, the fitment, you know what I mean? So. Uh, it can give you gaps, you know, for your, your wheel bearing and all that, it can throw things out if you don't clean things, bits of rust trapped in as well, you think you've got a warped brake disc, you know, and you end up spending money on this, and really if you cleaned it better, it wouldn't have had that judder, <laughs> so, anyway, we'll crack on here, we'll get this uh, cleaned up a bit further, we'll get this pretty, and uh, we'll need to get the car down, get it out of the road test with the Autel hooked on to it, uh, and monitor the wheel speed in that corner, um, so we'll crack on here. Right, quality stuff for the hotel again. Mitsubishi data has been pulled. Uh, right, so the other guy didn't know this was a four wheel drive as well when he told me. I told him, is that he? No, that's a four wheel drive, might be really good in the snow. This one, it's proper four wheel drive as well. So, uh, right, yeah, I'm not going to bother actually with the full scan because already got a, a good bit of that. Uh, there wasn't much on it other than this. Trouble codes. Uh, right, left. Rear left, sorry. Uh, erase codes. Uh, ignition on. Engine off. So, I'll do that balance shaft rattle at least. Uh, so, let me rattle away that thing. It's a little coupling that's rattling on it. Uh, it's still lots of them under warranty. Hey, the selected function is not yet run by ECU, possible reasons, the engine is running, the vehicle has a current diagnostic fault. Wait, right, okie doke. Right, so that's not the case. So I'm going to go back out here, right? Because it's maybe that there's fault codes in four wheel drive or something as well, and it can't get rid of that. So we will do the full bin up. Go there, full bin of scan. Must be quality. Um, ABS get two. Um, So, football driving per steel, I'll probably have some. Um, oh, that's right, no. So, that should be, so I wonder why that would be cool, I thought then. Mm, interesting stuff. So, before when we were driving it, you could see the speed going around and then, oh, nothing. Speed, nothing, speed, nothing, and that's obviously been that bearing track. So, hopefully, there's not been any damage done on the sensor. Sometimes they just don't like being moved as well. Obviously, we've had it, uh, the wire moved in a different position. So that wire's been sat there in that position for, so it's registered in 2018, but it could have been sat there for 2016. Uh, you know, clipped in and bolted in uh, to the suspension arms and stuff like that. So, tyre pressure low, ABS. So, all wheel control actually, there you go. So, we've got loads in all wheel control. So, we'll see if we can erase them all. Uh, it's all wheel drive control, so it's cleared those ABS faults now, so that's good. It's a good sign anyway, so we'll see if it takes all these all wheel control faults out, hopefully it does. 
It has indeed. So now we're going to go into this system on its own. Um, <coughs> excuse me. God, that was the correct thing, guys. Honestly, honestly, man. Knock on effect, day. So Friday, I got some wrong parts. Uh, even they were adamant to. They're normally growing like hey, this, this massive dealer. Uh, but and they do every franchise, not to mankind. So they're normally absolutely brilliant, but the guy was just adamant this part fitted and it did not. Um, so I sent it back and I managed to get the right part for it, but <coughs> then there's a knock on effect, man. You know, for the rest of your week, eh? So and it's just me in here. Uh, three vamps, so sometimes if a vamp's tied up, so Let's see if we can position this. Uh, so just let you see that. Let's see if we can position this a bit better. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Oh, the reverse still doing no bad. Oh, we're showing speed, so that's a positive sign, anyway. So I'm not having to do a bit of a park maneuver on the night because it's very busy at the garage. So, in rather than move, how many girls to get one out, you know, used to put them under ramps and stuff, so. Uh, real left, it looks like it dropped off for a second. So, we have our lights on. Now we have our lights on. So, it is in four wheel drive eco mode. Hopefully that's it, all done this one. Hit that big thumb, hit that subscribe, have a great old day.